So I think that the people forget that this really is a, it's an exponential curve. And I think Dario Amadeo said this, uh, Anthropic, that these are points on that curve. So people shouldn't get lost really on where the technology is going. It will get better, it will get cheaper, it will get faster. I think that, I, I agree with you actually, I think that the genie's out of the bottle and eventually you won't have one nation state in control of this technology. That's probably a bad thing anyway. Um, so I think that the key now is really not about, you saw the new one, Manus, this sort of a, uh, it's an AI that can do a million things at once, but it's not really about the technology now and the frontier, it's about how do you put it to work. When you talk about how you put it to work and how quickly you put it to work, there's been a dominant threat all along about jobs and the displacement of people mm. and what we've seen through this technology uh, at a time when we've just rolled off the back of a very expensive environment for talent. Where does automation come into the mix? Because I've got to say last week I saw a ton of robots as well. While they're very heavy mm. underfoot, it's the combination and convergence of technologies that makes a difference. So do you see automation coming soon and will that be replacing workers? So my day job now is AI agents. So I'm at a tech show in London this week talking about this. And what people don't quite understand is that, and I see this where I'm mapping workflows with the technology, and the hair stand up my arm some days in terms of I can see where this is going. So the AI agent is going to transform work. Any work behind a computer is going to be automated over time. And robotics, what we're seeing now is the hardware is now being connected with the software. You can't quite tell it yet to go and do something, but that's coming. And once they connect those dots with vision, can navigate our built environment, the hardware, I mean, I can't do a backflip, OK? Hmm. But no, can I. It, <laughs> I can't do parkour, OK? And this technology can. And once they connect those dots, you're going to see cognitive work, I will say, is going to go to zero. And then you'll see physical work as well. The point, though, is this will take time. Even if you solved AGI today, artificial general intelligence, it's probably five years for it to be disseminated across the economy. So the point is whether you're an individual, an organization or a nation state, my mantra now really is, how do you put this to work? How do you optimize your costs, increase growth? And what we see from our clients at Implement AI is, it's not so much getting rid of people, it's about how do I grow faster? How do I augment my team so that my human resource can go and do things that add value and are actually more meaningful? Where's the talent of tomorrow going to go? To a job where the, the things they hate doing, which we all have things in our job we don't want to do, are automated, or somewhere where the things they don't like doing, the mundane, the repetitive, has been automated. Okay. So that's where talent's going to go. Let me just pick up on that. I would like to understand what kind of talent, because I was actually reading this research over the weekend from the European Central Bank, and they have evidence that it's the high-skilled jobs that will disappear, or at least diminish, in terms of participation in the labour market. Do you have that evidence as well? Yeah. So I've, I've, been, I've got an accounting degree. I've been a lawyer. I'm a qualified lawyer. I was a banker at Credit Suisse, a hedge fund. I was on the board of the government bank. If you are earning, you know, 200 to 500 to a million pounds or dollars a year, you have an enormous bullseye on your back, OK? Mm. It's not the admin assistant. It's not your secretary. It's expensive knowledge work. And that's where you're going to see, I think, the biggest impact. And that... In an exponential, I think Sam Altman said this, the past always looks flat, you can't see any change, the future always looks vertical. And that's what we're struggling with, is that we're trying to extrapolate the future, an uh, exponential one, from a linear past and not connecting can, the two. Can I just add on to that? The creative industries as well. Photographers, what is the future of photography when we've got all the technology in our device and down the track we're going to have the, the hardware capabilities of taking photography? Artists' impressions. I and mean, I've seen AI artists as well, and some people can't tell the difference between the two. So the creative field, doesn't that get disrupted too? So it doesn't matter what you do, whether it's uh, knowledge work, creative work, and eventually physical work, I see it as a sort of pyramid of value, and it's been filled, you know, just to revolutions, but the pyramid got bigger, so it was great. This time it isn't, so it's been filled. So we, humans, human resource, we have to migrate to the top and add more value. And it's the soft skills, it's the EQ, not the IQ. IQ, any work at a computer, is going to be commoditized and productized, and it's going to decrease in value and cost over time.